Hello. Hello. Yeah, it feels fine. Just don't scream, Lisa. I know how loud you might scream. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I Did never. You say Miley channel. I was gonna say my Lil's <laughs> channel, and that didn't make sense. Today, we're gonna try a bunch of Dr. Pepper flavored things because it's mostly candy. We like Dr. Pepper. If I get tweeted, oh. We're doing this one for all your tweeters. Like, Don't tweet it anymore. I got that because I also, people tweet me um, the, the cake too. Oh. And I did candy. try, I went to two different stores and tried to find the cake. Maybe we have to make our own okay. cake in the that. future. And I was like, oh. Also in the future, we were saying Dr. Pepper, not flavored, but it's like. Cooked with Dr. Pepper. You know, like there's Dr. Pepper ribs. We did a cheat day like that barbecue. Time. Oh, I guess ribs are barbecue. Yeah, yeah. the cheat day had, um, there was a sloppy joe. This is so good. I feel like I'm in elementary school. Last time you had a sloppy joe. Last week, actually. <laughs> Lily made sloppy joes at her house. That's real good. But before we get started today, a word from our sponsor, because all of these are pretty expensive. I'd order all of them online. So. And something else we're trying to do in the future is become better photographers. Which is why today's episode is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you're unfamiliar, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 30,000 classes in everything from design to business to photography. I, I actually do have an account. Yeah. I do use it sometimes. Oh, I know that Brandon Wolfel has a lot of classes on yes. Skillshare. He's um, the photographer that I feel like everyone has seen some of his pictures. It's with all the lights and stuff. He has That's a very really specific great. aesthetic. A lot of S's. Yeah, else. you can learn different <laughs> styles and have different photographers that have different aesthetics you find out which one you kind of like yeah and if you sign up for the premium you get unlimited access so you can take as many classes as you want there's over 7 million people on it you can join groups you can get feedback on some of your work you can chat with others and right now Skillshare is giving away a two-month unlimited access trial to anyone that clicks on the link in the description and then after that it's only $10 a month which Honestly, endless education. Well, you can, because there's no limit on how many videos you can watch like a month, right? You'll probably so... learn more in like a day than I learned in like all of my college. Cheers. Cheers. Time to eat all this really yummy stuff. I'm ready. I do love Dr. Pepper a lot, but like sometimes it doesn't translate. I'm not sure it's going to. Because there's a lot Some... of flavors and we don't know what those flavors are. I, some things <laughs> don't need to be soda flavored. Some, I, but some things should. Let's start with Jelly Bellies. These are the I don't love jelly beans to begin with. I'm remembering I haven't had these in a while, but I used to love these and I always... There's a slot there. I forgot it. I always dreamed of going to the Jelly Belly factory. Four calories per bean. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so they're not a nice like... I'll show you the color. Nice. Get up close like a bean and get real nice little maroony like your yeah. pants. So it's this nice deep maroon color. It's a magic bean, Jack! Were you just quoting Jack and the magic bean stuff? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay, here we go. I always like these ones. Oh wow, that translates very accurately. Oh, that's weird. I wish it was fizzy. But it almost fizzy, kind of is though. But sort of. And like, oh, so that's confusing. Good. Gives me goosebumps. I think we started with the best one. <laughs> probably, probably should have left that last. Yeah. It's like, I want to keep eating more though because it feels like I'm tr like drinking it. <laughs> Feels like it turns your spit into Dr. Pepper. That sounds gross, but it's good. Well, you like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So far? I mean, I don't know if I'd seek it out. I don't, I just, you're not a jelly bean person. I'm not a big candy person. That is true. This is the most candy I've seen you eat. All right, where are we going from that? Oh no. They're licorice. Yep. Says so it's made with real Dr. Pepper. So like a Dr. Pepper Twizzler? Not like a black licorice. They're candy twists. I was looking. There's no brand. It's just Dr. So Pepper. So it's essentially a, a Twizzler red vine thing. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. Which is also a solid color. You're sniffing it for sure. <laughs> that was a deep sniff, too. That was like. It went all the way across. Oh, you already ate it. Sorry. I shouldn't like it. It's too tough. It doesn't really taste like anything. Oh. Like I, get, I get next to no flavor. It just tastes like a Twizzler. <laughs> For having 23 flavors, it has zero. It just tastes like um, gelatin. It is, no. Jelly beans for the win. Take another jelly bean. Yeah. Jellies. Oh, it doesn't even have a hole in the middle, so I can't even oh, use can't it. Oh, can a straw? That's sad. Oh, we have more These gummies, they came in a large box because it's like as if I was selling them at the student store. Oh. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I used to love the Haribo gummy colas. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if I've ever had So this those. is what I'm, this is obviously what they look like. Let's see Rebecca. how many teeth we can pull out with these. Ooh, it, it's a little old. <laughs> is it that they're old or, or is it like? No, because that's, I always used to like do this thing where I would like bite the cap off. <laughs> Gotta make sure you open it first. <laughs> As a kid, I would bite Crack it off. So I'd bite the cap off first and then you eat it. Did we say that these are gummy soda bottles? Gummy soda bottles. Also Dr. Pepper. Brand made with real Dr. Pepper. Did I mention all of these are really old? They were candy last a long time. Mm. I'm not really tasting anything either. And zero flavor. You know what they should do? It's kind of weird. They put a little squirt of Dr. Pepper in. <laughs> like gushers, but mm -hmm. Dr. Pepper like syrup. Right. Yeah, I mean it's not horrible. I would eat it, but it just doesn't taste like anything. I'd eat it if you put it in front of me, but... Oh well, yeah, <laughs> most things except vegetables. This I thought was strange. This was um, candy canes that came in Dr. Pepper, Orange Crush, and a and w root beer. So I don't know if that means cane. that it's like mint plus that. No, candy canes are all mint. Like if you get a flavored candy cane, it's not mint. They're okay, mint so, what is it, so what does it taste like? <laughs> I'm feeling like this is gonna taste more like cherry. Cause obviously Orange Crush is orange, and then I don't know what the hell root beer is. Oh. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna just suck on it. This is gonna look great. Oh, okay. You gotta suck on it a little bit, and then there's a little bit of a soda flavor creeping in, but I don't know if it's necessarily Dr. Pepper. Right? It's, it's like it. it's, flow, it's like subtly like creeping in a little bit. <laughs> did that happen? And then it just tastes kind of like aftertaste weird. You know, I didn't know what the taste of candy cane was, but now I remember. <laughs> it's not very good. I'm, I'm not super surprised at any of those. This though has a little more soda taste than these Definitely two. Definitely has more flavor than those, but, but still you've gotta suck on it for a while. And who wants to do that? I'm gonna suck on first. We have horrible teeth. Why did we pick all these? I don't things? know. Anyways. <laughs> it's not good. Um, it so okay, so I, I know. All we have left is the we cotton. the cotton candy. That's and it? Then, oh. oh, and then we have the dessert topping, which that I feel like could be good. So I'll get ice cream for that. So we'll end with that. So we can end with okay. a high note. But hopefully. I do love cotton candy. To all of the, do you? Yeah. Well, I it's actually. It's literally just sugar air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw my recent cotton candy ice cream burrito debacle. Yeah, I didn't get invited over for that. No one did. I was alone. But otherwise, I don't usually love cotton candy. This is also good till 2020. So. It says that, but it feels well, very, you know, very firm. Cotton candy kind of is, unless it's fresh out of the machine. You never bought the tub for like cotton candy from the grocery store? That's me. We should do a whole episode of you eating the weird flavors of cotton candy. Because this is exactly what it looks like, and then you just take really? a bite of the. Uh, <laughs> do my mouth. How's it? How's it? Really, this looks like like insulation that you would find in your attic. Oh, <laughs> uh, it tastes more like there's like it takes a second. There's some cherry flavor in there. You have to give it a second to get past the soap taste. <laughs> yes, and then there's a bit of cherry that comes in. It really <gasps> does look though like we're soundproofing some Ooh. foam in the middle. <laughs> like even the layers, like I would get close. Giving me goosebumps. But like this does look like insulation foam. That is straight out of a fucking attic. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, no, no. It's funny, the aftertaste okay. is, isn't bad. I'll the, give you that. The aftertaste is Dr. Pepper. The initial taste is terrible. I don't know if they put some kind of preservative on it to keep it. <coughs> Sorry, you took another bite, that looks impressive. But yeah, no, the aftertaste is a little more Dr. Peppery than these two gummies, but not so much than the jelly beans. No, yeah, it's okay after a second. I'll get some ice cream for the last one. I'm just gonna keep chewing this brick of insulation. <laughs> I have the grossest aftertaste in my mouth right now. So it says it's cherry, right? Which is, that's not what I think of when I think of Dr. Pepper. Really? That's like the main thing I taste when I drink I Dr. guess Pepper. it is, but that's not what I think of when I'm drinking it. Also, maybe it's just because it's cherry colored. Yeah. Okay, so this is a Dr. Pepper cherry dessert topper. So with a no mess cap. We'll see. Amazingly that. smooth. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Indulge. Ooh. Look at that slow-mo shot. Is it amazingly smooth? It just looks like chocolate sauce. It smells like cherry. It takes such a small bite. Ice cream's cold. Where's my teeth? <sighs> oh, I'm confused. It almost kind of hardens like fudge. It has your texture of like hot caramel. Oh, there's some cherry in it. Yeah. I like it. Honestly, I like most things on ice cream. I feel like you gotta put a lot. I usually put a lot. Otherwise, I can't really taste it. Okay, this is sticky though. This is literally like I'm eating hot fudge and some caramel. And yeah. Like, no mess cap, but I thought, messy face. I thought it was gonna be more of the chocolate syrup consistency, consistency, which is a little thicker, not so gooey. I also just love ice cream. 
Okay, that tastes like cherry. I don't get that many cherry vibes. I also think my brain's just confused because I'm eating it and it sees chocolate and it's telling me it's chocolate. Like there's a bit of a cherry aftertaste, but yeah. yeah okay, well let's rank it on tasting okay. like Dr. Pepper and then what's good. Okay. Tasting like Dr. Pepper, definitely jelly beans number one. Jelly beans. Cotton, Cotton candy, candy number two. Then this, the ice cream topping. Yeah, and then those are like tied. The soda for... and, or the gummy bottles. Oh wait, candy cane comes. Yeah, candy cane would be four, four. because there's a little taste once you start. And it. then those tie for five, six. Yeah. But as far as being good, I'm going with the jelly bellies. I'm going to go with the ice cream because I just, it's. You like ice cream. Yeah. Dr. Pepper float. <laughs> I've never done that. I make a floor out of it. my ice cream. I got so sad. I don't know why I never do that. I love ice cream and I love Dr. Pepper. Why wouldn't I mix my two favorite things? I make the Dr. Pepper float. Anyway, that's, that's it for the today. next one. <laughs> We're just gonna keep this going. This went going. about exactly as how I expected it to. Um, let us know if you want us to try Dr. Pepper cooked things. Thank you, my big hand today. This is what we <laughs> my Oh. Interesting. Smell like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Bye. So lucky to sit here. Oh, no.